Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo and welcome to the channel update news for March. Yeah, March. <laughs> I don't know why I had to think about that. It's been a long day at work. But uh, you know how it is when you, you're trying to make stuff happen. You gotta keep going, gotta keep grinding and stay on that hustle. Uh, it's been a good uh, good month. Uh, February and January were alright. Started a couple of new series. Got, um, well, I think one new series. Ratchet and Clank just came out, uh, I think it was day before yesterday, and I had a lot of fun with that. And I said during the video that I didn't actually want to do face cam for it, um, because like, um, you know, I wanted, I wanted to use the PlayStation eye camera, but you can't do it unless you're live streaming. So, what I think I'll try to do is I'll try to uh, make Ratchet and Clank more of a weekly sort of thing so that I can combine the face cam with it um, on my digital camcorder. That just takes an extra step where I have to upload, I have to use a flash drive to get the video off the PlayStation or onto a camera or, or, or what have you, but it's, it's, a little bit e it's a little bit easier, it's a lot easier to do it without a face cam, but it just doesn't feel the same. I don't feel that same interaction with, you know, a viewer or anybody seeing how I react to certain situations as opposed to just hearing it. And it's fine, it's just not the same for me. So I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to maybe put uh, put the face cam in there so that that's actually a part of it. Skyrim's actually been really fun. I've really been enjoying that. I think it's up to like episode four now and unfortunately I lost my first follower, Uthgird, he was awesome, but I'm going to have to be on my own for a little bit and uh, hopefully get an, uh, another follower at some point. Um, I was thinking about maybe like a, a punishment thing where like since the since Uthgur died I should bump the difficulty of the game up another notch but I don't know how that would honestly work out because um, eventually we would get to Legendary and then I'd just be dying in every single episode and I'd never make any progress so I'm only like level 11 right now, so I might want to wait a little bit before I bump the difficulty up again. Um, I'm also very happy to say that um, uh, Trey, uh, I'm just going to say Trey, because I, I can't pronounce that name, like Trey Falgar Lols. His, uh, the link to his website is actually in the description for any video that I have that features his Mugen games, but I'm very happy to say that um, Naruto Konoha Legends is updated to version 5 or v5 and it now has a watch mode so I can run a, a full-on tournament uh, using that game uh, there was a good response for Naruto and Boruto uh, there was a good response for Naruto and Sasuke versus Boruto and Sarada the whole you know shinobi uh, shinobi kids versus their dads thing uh, I like the response on that it got you know a decent amount of views for my channel so I'll keep working off of that the next one I was thinking about was, um, I didn't get any suggestions unfortunately, but I was thinking of um, like the strongest of the Akatsuki. What if we ran just the original two teams of each of the Akatsuki team members like Deidara Sasori, uh, you know, Kakuzu, Hidan, uh, Itachi Kas uh, Kisame, ran them up against each other in a mini tournament to see, you know, out of the Akatsuki who would take the cake. You know, it's just a little mini tournament that I can do aside from any like full on thing that might come at a later date. Um, aside from that, I'm not sure what other projects I had working on. Uh, this weekend, uh, no, no, it's not this weekend. I'm, I'm a fool. I'm a foolish fool. A foolish fool who is indeed foolish. But on the 24th, I'll be going to, uh, it's the Bay County Renaissance Fair. It's a big event going down on a Saturday, so uh, I'm, I'm still hoping on planning on getting Friday and Sunday, you know, that week, um, you know, right in there. I, I, you know, I'm gonna try to get those videos in there, cause I, you know, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a rough week. Uh, the last week of March is gonna be, I, uh, I think first I have a dental appointment, and then I have the Renaissance Fair. And then I get to take my vacation for three days from work. After like a year, almost a year of working, I get one vacation for three days. And I took, I applied for two vacations. One at the end of February, which was declined. Uh, and one at the end of March, which I hopefully, I, I got it, it's approved. If they don't take it back, I'll still get it. But I don't get a lot of time off. 
So hopefully I'm going to try to enjoy my vacation as much as possible and just play a fun game or two maybe. If it's warm outside, I'd like to uh, resume uh, Mother Nature plus a good book. I really miss that series, but it's been freezing cold lately. It's 42 degrees outside right now. I'm wearing a hoodie indoors. I'm wearing a hoodie indoors. I'm suffering. It's 65 degrees in here. I'm used to 70, like 6. If it gets below 70, I don't feel good no more. I ain't got no meat on my bones. I got no meat on my bones. I'm a, I'm a boneless, I'm a meatless boy. <laughs> I'm Floridian. I'm used to, man, an old story back in my mom's house. Um, when, like, we couldn't run the air conditioner. And this is, this is completely unrelated from the channel, mind you. But just real quick. When we couldn't run the air conditioner because we were so poor, we um, we used to have the house up to about 89 degrees. And once it got past 89 degrees and it started hitting the 90s, 92, 93, that's when I actually told my mom, okay, I'm, I'm tapping out, you got to turn the AC on. We got to do something. Fans ain't cutting. But yeah, I, I could take heats up to like 90 degrees and still be just sitting in my room with a fan on the floor. Uh, just sitting in front of it with a bag of ice or something. I, yeah, I've had it so hot in my room, my PlayStation 2 would burn out. <laughs> and the game would stop playing. <laughs> oh, those were not the days. But, um, times are better now. <laughs> times are much better now. Um, I'm gonna keep working hard with the channel. Um, it's 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 tough. YouTube gaming content is tough. There's a lot of competition out there. A lot of people that are much more successful than I'll probably ever be. But it's about having fun. And you guys like the fun, and I like the good laughs. There's always good laughs, and it, it, it's 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 a good time. You know, it's a good time. Everybody's struggling to make money right now. Because even I see even some of the top competitors are having to go way out of their way with crazy ridiculous challenges and and harsh punishments on themselves to try to raise views up uh, and they're they're you know doing out of the way sort of stuff that they normally wouldn't do aside from their gaming content to sort of uh, try to get try to bring fans back because the the fan base is you know you have a large people a large group of people in like 2011 2013 you know between those times that were like what game recordings you can watch that like a TV show, boom, and then it just exploded, and everybody was into it. But now there's so many competitors that the audience, the you know, the audience has been spread thin. So everybody gets a you know a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit here, a little bit here. Like some of my favorite channels used to get on average a million, two million, three million views within a couple of weeks. Now they're topping out at about half that. You know, around 300 to 500 thousand on a good day. So you can definitely see a difference where how the people who are interested in that type of content have found so many, 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 many two hours later, many, many, many channels of that type of content that the viewer base has been spread out. So you do what you got to do. You 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 make what you got to make. You know, it's like. It's like if UFC had a hundred channels of just UFC fights. There'd be a lot fewer viewers on the original channels. So I'm, I, I've, I've had to try to cope with the idea that I'm just one more idiot trying to butt my way in there. But you know, uh, it, it's it's fun. It's it's definitely fun. So I'm gonna keep working hard to try to make good gaming content and work even harder to bring content that's a, aside from gaming. I still have to learn how to how to do that. Um, but uh, hopefully you you've been enjoying this month. Look forward to next month. Um, projects for next month are gonna include uh, Ratchet and Clank content as well as something else I was gonna try. Oh yes, um, there's this roller coaster game called. Um, oh gosh, wasn't just called roller coasters, was it? <laughs> It's for the VR, but um, I wanted to give it a shot. Just put on the VR headset and play that. It's it's going to be really fun. That one, and I'm not sure. I'm not sure what other projects, what other major things were going on. But you know, plenty of stuff to look forward to. And, and it's strange. I honestly thought I couldn't even make a three-minute video because I was just too tired. 
but I've already rambled for 10 minutes, so I'm going to let you go, and hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe for updates on future content. Leave any helpful comments or suggestions you might have in the comment section below. Likes are always appreciated. Until next time, take it easy, my friends.